Cannabis Art Concept by Rex Kittinger. Welcome guys, I wanted to introduce a friend of mine. This is Rex. And we're, what we're doing is we're working on a piece of art that is in the concept. This is Rex, everybody. Say hi, Rex. Hello. How you doing? And you guys are all going to get to meet him, hopefully. But what we're doing is something very special. And art's a, art is an amazing thing. It sends a very powerful message. And what we're doing today is we're sharing a message of cannabis, hemp, this is some of Rex's art, high bear. And you can see the cannabis leaves in there. Very, very talented artist. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a concept tonight, which we've actually just started. Rex, why don't you show them the concept, the beginning of what we started drawing for our art that we're gonna share with the world. And yes, it doesn't look like much right now, but there's a deep meaning in this and Rex and I came up with a couple of ideas that we wanted to share with everybody. And this is some of Rex's art in the background here. Baby Zoomy. Baby Zoomy here. This is the Generations. This is Graphite. And guys, this art is up for auction right here. This is a print of some of his best work. And so we're gonna tell you how you can get in on the auction. And it's gonna be up for bid over the next seven days. Today's May 16th. Two and days till my birthday. Two more days till Rex's birthday. So let's see how, how high we can get those bids. Um, if you want, we'll just have a link in the description of the video. So what we're going to do, guys, is uh, we're going to watch Rex draw a little bit of his idea and talk about what we're trying to explain to, to send our message uh, about cannabis and hemp and the history as well as where it's going in the future and what we need to do about it today right now and where it comes from and and absolutely where it comes from and that's the most important part and that's the message we want to share with many more people out there is that there there are a lot of things that people don't understand that they need to understand before they go any further and the research is out there and it's 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 available and we're going to help share that research with you guys um, so what we're going to do is this art, this concept that we're doing right here, we haven't named it yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to think of a name and over the next few days we need your help. But what we'll do is we'll walk you through phases of the daily progress of the art. And so every day you're going to be able to see a new video or even two videos, maybe even three videos of the progress of this art. And so what's going to happen is you're going to get to watch the art piece unveiled every day and Thursday May 22nd while we're in Atlanta Georgia at the Sheridan Hotel you can come down and see the art being finished by Rex he's gonna spend about an hour on Thursday night about 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. finishing the art in Atlanta Georgia and then on Friday he's gonna finish the artwork and you get to see something that's going to be absolutely amazing. Are we going to auction it? Are we going to raffle it? And we are going to auction it. We are going to we're going to see if we can get some people to to really hear the message that we're sending and put some value to that. And so um, Rex, do you want to talk a little bit about what we're what our concept of this new piece is going to be? Um basically we're at the beginning um I'm trying to demonstrate a series of techniques of opening my creative thought, allowing my creative energy to just do what it naturally does instead of trying to control it. So what I'm starting with here is a highlighter and because it's a light color, I can scribble with it and it's kind of a loose starting point. So. What Damon and I have been talking about is um, we're looking at maybe doing a one-point perspective where we're starting with that point and then sh guiding everything to that perspective to that one point. So we're going to create a river, I believe, and this river is going to have different things in it. So our left side is going to be industrial and 
what the gasoline has caused and what the oils and the pollution and the coal burning in our power plants and and our river on fire because of the toxic chemicals and maybe some pipes showing the contaminants in our river and, and dead fish and pollutants maybe some contracts from the government that are just words on paper that don't mean anything empty contracts we're going to have some cars I'm guessing showing the amount of carbon monoxide you know polluting from this uh, toxic industrial environment that we've created you know we're going to have uh, these power plants industrial factories big tall smokestacks with polluting toxics going into the air creating this acid rain so on one side we're going to have the industrial and then the other side of the river we're going to have the hemp the new with the old we're looking at um, maybe some rolling hills grasslands of the Dakotas North and South Dakota um, we might bring in some mountains sacred mountains to my people not just any mountains they're actually sacred mountains and then farmland with great rows of hemp growing millions of dollars in cash product so basically the reason that we're trying to create this this kind of painting is to raise awareness that everywhere all tribes all nations um, have been affected by the illegalization of marijuana and hemp. Um, every year the Lakota would try to grow hemp as a cash crop and every year the DEA, DEA would come in, they would cut down the harvest and those people would lose their entire crop because it contained 2% THC which is completely ridiculous because that didn't do anything to you. So we're trying to raise awareness, and um, I think President Obama did a great thing by passing the Farmers Bill, um, which now is going to allow those Lakota and many nations in the United States to go back to, to growing hemp and feeding their people. Right now, the Lakota Nation is 85% in poverty and unemployed. So we have staggering numbers of, of people that are not living at even a decent um, lifestyle lifestyle or comfortable, you know, no education, nothing, because they don't have the money. They can't afford it. So, Rex, what we're going to do is we're going to, every day for seven days, actually eight days, we're going to draw until next Friday. We're going to do a beautiful beautiful art uh painting acrylic or what are we gonna i think we should go with oil oil okay so we're gonna do an oil painting and what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise money to get rex out to atlanta everybody and we have a few other people we want to bring out so rex is willing to um share his proceeds with other members of our group that want to travel to atlanta with us to share in the hemp movement with canaway and yes, that's sir. what we're going to do is we're going to blow it up. We're going to take a road trip that's going to take us thousands of miles uh, across the country down to Atlanta, Georgia from Colorado. And Rex and I are going to auction off or maybe even do a, a raffle or with a donation or something to that effect. We haven't figured out everything, the details, but we're trying to raise funds to get to Atlanta and we need your help. So please contact us and let us know how you can help in any way. And if you would like to bid on the artwork and give us a donation that uh, we could that would help us then that would be more than appreciated so uh, tune in next time because we're gonna be back tomorrow which is Saturday the 17th May 17th 2014 and Rex and I are gonna blow your minds even further because we have a powerful message to send and if you look deep into this little girl's eyes right here you can see it you can see that message right here okay and Rex portrays that message very well okay there's a message a deep message and we're gonna send that through High Bear right here too. Okay, High Bear has a powerful message. You can look into his eyes, and the art that Rex portrays is coming from the spirit of High Bear and the Lakota. So we're gonna share that with you guys. Um, Rex, say goodbye. We'll see you guys tomorrow.